Welcome to Inquiring Minds. My name is Doug and I'm back with today's fountain pen review, this limited edition Delta 39 plus one celluloid. I might have to rename this mini series of reviews Murray's Moments because this is another exquisite fountain pen on loan for review by pen friend Murray. Thanks, Murray. Yes, folks, Delta is back, and this 40th anniversary limited edition unique celluloid fountain pen commemorates Delta's history and its return under the auspices of Delta's co-founder and the CEO of brands Maiora and Nituno, Nino Marino. Let's take a look at this stunning fountain pen right now. <music> And I'd like to show the parts and features of this pen, show some size comparisons, some measurements, and then provide a writing sample. After the writing sample, please stay tuned as I'll talk about what I like and what I don't like so much about this fountain pen. First, I'm going to talk a little history. Delta fountain pens. Delta is much beloved in the fountain pen community. It's also been much mourned since its demise in 2017. Delta was co-founded by Nino Marino and Ciro Matroni in 1982. They produced beautiful fountain pens with traditional Italian roots for 35 years. When they closed up shop in 2017, Mr. Marino began his own brand, Maiora, and subsequently took over the brand Nertuno as well, while Ciro Matroni's son, Salvatore, began the incredibly popular brand, Leonardo Affazzina Italiana. Marino and Matrone are both in Naples, as are their brand. My speculation is that Marino and Matrone Sr. got together and made a deal for Nino Marino to take over the Delta brand. And pen aficionados across the world are the beneficiaries, as the Delta brand is resurrected to live once more. And this 40th anniversary celluloid Delta pen is one of the first offerings from the new Delta, and it couldn't be more amazing. Let's look at it. I don't have any of the boxing, but here's a photo of what it looks like. It looks as luxurious as you'd expect for a pen at this price. Overall, the pen is a very unique shape with a cap that tapers up to a gold ring peak finial that curves down to a very sharp point. It makes the pen look like a scepter or a dagger, certainly something you could defend yourself with. And the whole thing is made from an incredibly gorgeous pink, gold, bronze, and black flecked celluloid with gold hardware. From the top, we see a large conical finial adorned with what can only be described as a crown of ornate filigree on a wide gold-plated 925 sterling silver band. The band, to quote Delta, is engraved in high relief with an ancient decoration from the Pompeian era, a typical design showed on all the most prestigious fountain pens produced by Delta during the past years, unquote. And it isn't a clip ring as the classic roller clip comes out of the top of the cap with the stylized block letters Delta laser etched on it. And the clip is nicely springy. The cap swoops down and then is straight to a very smooth, almost seamless transition to the barrel which then gently curves up to a bulge before tapering away again in another elegant curve down to a wide gold band that is deeply and exquisitely engraved with any 1982 to 2002 anniversary and the Delta Glyph logo. And the gold band separates the end of the barrel from this removable blind cap that unscrews and contains a removable 2.6 gram gold-plated weight. The idea is that you can keep the weight in the back of the pen to shift the balance further to the back for more pen control for calligraphers and sketchers. Or you can take the weight out, which shifts the entire center of balance forward, making the pen do some more of the work of the writing, making long writing sessions less fatiguing on the writer. It's an interesting concept. My only concern would be losing this little weight. The cap unscrews with one revolution to reveal a concave shaped section made out of the same gorgeous celluloid and a beautiful number six size 18 karat gold Yovo broad nib and black plastic feed. The nib and the feed are part of an unscrewable nib assembly for maintenance or swapping. The section is long and comfortable and these gold plated threads here are smooth and unobtrusive. There is a pronounced step right there but the edge is very smooth. And at the base of the threads on the front it says Delta Italy and on the back it has the limited edition number 382 of 399. Let's take a closer look at this nib. The Yovo nib has the Delta logo, Delta Italy, laser etched on it, and 18K750 for the gold content and the letter B 
for broad, roll stamped into the bottom. The section unscrews to reveal the included screw-in standard international cartridge converter, and Delta claims this as a triple filler in that you can use cartridges, the converter, or you can fill the barrel and use the pen as an eyedropper. If you use the pen as an eyedropper, the ink capacity is a whopping 5 milliliters. I am wary, however, because those threads are metal and the ink would be in contact with that metal. If you use pH neutral ink, I wouldn't be as concerned. If you use standard cartridges, the pen will not accommodate a spare one in the barrel. And the top of that nozzle has a silicone o-ring to keep the barrel from unscrewing during use. The inside of the cap shows a Torx bolt head that holds the large cap finial in place, but no cap seal or step to seal the nib. The cap does post, but not very deeply and not very securely, and makes the pen very long and back weighted and actually erases the utility of the pen balancing weight in the back of that barrel. And in any event, I'd be worried about scratching that celluloid barrel. So this is a non-posting pen, in my opinion. Unposted, the pen is exquisitely well-balanced and comfortable in the hand. The way that barrel gets fatter just here where it sits in your hand is sublime. I love that feeling of how the pen tends to fill your hand. I'm not fond of concave sections, especially on the Myora pens. But this is wonderful, and many people do love those concave sections. It's long enough and thick enough at the waist here to be very comfortable for me. I'm not going to mention the price of this pen because if you have to ask, you can't afford one. There you go. Thank you, sir. There you go. There you go. So now let's look at some size comparisons. And here is the Delta 39 plus 1 celluloid with a Delta the Journal acrylic from the early days of Delta, a Leonardo Ferrore Grande in Smeraldo, a Pelican M800, and a Pilot Metropolitan for scale. Now let's look at them posted. And here they are posted. And again, I'm not going to post the Delta here because it doesn't post very well to begin with and I don't want to scratch that celluloid. Now let's look at them unposted. And here they are unposted. You can see that the Delta 39 plus 1 is just about as long as the Ferrari Grande is unposted. Now let's look at some measurements and I'll be back with a writing sample. And we're back with the writing portion of the review. This is Clairefontaine 90 GSM paper and this is the Delta 39 plus 1 limited edition 40th anniversary celluloid and it has an 18 karat gold number 6 size Yovo nib which is broad. Let's check the wetness. It's very very wet, very nice and the nib is just smooth and beautiful on the page but you might be able to hear this over my humidifiers in the background that feedback is bordering on singing the nib is singing a little bit now, some people like that and some people don't. It's actually fairly easy to adjust a nib so that it doesn't sing. As for some, it feels like nails on a blackboard. You all know me. There's an excellent video on the hows and whys of nib sing by Brian Goulet of Goulet Pens, and I'll link that in the description for you to watch. It's a very educational video as he gets into how nibs are manufactured. But the skinny is that one of the tines of the nib has some friction with the page that causes it to vibrate at the resonant frequency of the nib. This comes out as a chirp, a squeak, or the Star Spangled Banner, depending on the nib. Now here's a nib on my Leonardo Momento Zero Grande, Jonathan Brooks Earth Magic 2. It's an 18 karat gold, number six size broad Yovo nib. 
And so these two nibs are, in essence, identical to each other except for the branding on it. And this one has that same amount of feedback, feels identical to the Delta, but it doesn't sing. And the ink today is a Roshizuku Kujaku. And here are some close matches to this ink from inkswatch.com. As to line variation, there's some really nice bounce to this nib. You don't get much variation in the line because it's already a broad line. But that nib, uh, maybe I'll zoom in here and you can see it better. That nib bounces and flexes. Well, it doesn't flex. That nib bounces really nicely on the page, making it a very, very comfortable writing experience. Again, it's not a flex nib, but that 18 karat gold nib bounces nicely. And the line this nib makes is a 0 0.8 millimeter, which makes it a Western broad, no duh, or a Japanese. I'm going to call it a broad plus because it's part way between a what would be a Japanese broad and a Japanese double broad, which actually doesn't exist. And for our quote. And for some reverse writing. Well, this is almost as smooth as the right way around, but a lot thinner and a bit drier. So you get a nice thin line for those of you who like to sketch. And for some quick writing. And that feed keeps up very, very nicely. Very wet, very smooth. Beautiful, beautiful fountain pen. So what do I like and what do I not like about this fountain pen? First off, thanks have to go out to Murray for the very generous loan of this pen for review. His generosity allows me and all of you to share in the experience of this incredible writing instrument. This is truly a unique pen on many levels. First, it's a pen that represents a rebirth of a beloved fountain pen brand that has its roots in Italian pen design traditions. Welcome back, Delta. Secondly, it's a beautiful, unique design, very Italian, but not overly ostentatious, ornate, but elegant. The celluloid is incredible to the eye and to the touch. Third, this very interesting pen balancing system where the user can adjust the center of gravity of the pen for customizing the writing experience. I'm wondering if Delta will offer replacement pieces with varying weights. That would be cool. And lastly, the feel of this pen in my hand is an incredible experience. I've written with it for long periods of time, up to an hour, and you just don't get tired, either physically or of the writing experience. And it just makes your crappy handwriting that much better. Sign, please. Because you're relaxed and the pen feels so natural in your hand, it doesn't fight you when you're making your individually styled ink marks. And the singing of that nib is fairly common and an easy thing to fix. A little micro mesh, but if you're not comfortable, especially with a pen of this caliber, I would leave it to a professional. And there you have it. If you like this video, please like and subscribe, and don't forget to ring that bell to get instant notifications whenever a new video is posted. And please look in the description for a link to Goldspot Pens, as I'm now an affiliate of the online store, and when you shop at Goldspot using my link, you'll be supporting my channel as well, at no extra charge to you. You can also join as a member of my channel for only 99 cents a month, and I guarantee I'll answer your comments in the comment section, and you'll get cool emojis, badges, and sneak peek unboxing videos as well. And that just leaves it for me to say, thank you. For watching. And that's all she wrote.